Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys the graph editor inside After Effects and how to use it from square one. I'm going to break down all the controls inside of it. That way you can create better graphics inside After Effects. Now I think it's really important to understand the fundamentals of the graph editor. So I hope you take away some things from this video to really create some better animations for your own motion graphics. So if that sounds good to you guys, be sure to hit the like button and let's dive on in. So to first showcase an animation, I'm gonna draw a simple shape by clicking and getting my ellipse tool. I'm just gonna draw a circle. Then I'm gonna to go to my align panel and align this up here. And to illustrate an animation, I'm just gonna add a simple scale animation. So I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard to bring up the scale parameter. I'm gonna click the keyframe, stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then I'm gonna go out into my timeline to about a second. Then I'm gonna create another keyframe by clicking this little diamond here. I'm going to go back to the beginning and then just change the value to zero. And when we play this back, we'll see that we just have a simple linear keyframe. And this is what a linear keyframe is. It's just, it's just in a straight line. That's pretty much all there is. Now you can get a little bit more advanced. You can select these keyframes, right click on them, and then go over to keyframe assistance and go to Easy Ease. The keyboard shortcut is F9. And this will add a little bit of ease to those keyframes so it's not as you know linear. There's two different types of keyframes you'll primarily be working with in After Effects, linear and Bezier. And really what Bezier means is it essentially means curves. You're adding curves to the actual animation path inside After Effects. Now for some of you, this might be good enough, but if you really want to fine tune this, this is really where the graph editor comes in. Now to get into the graph editor, what you'll want to do is select this icon here, and now you're inside the graph editor. Now to really uh, see anything, you actually have to click on the parameter. And to do that, you'll just click on this button, the parameter right here to the left, and now you can see an actual graph here, an actual line, and we got things happening here. All right, so what does this represent? So this shows the value graph editor. So you can see the value over time. You can see at the current time indicator, this red line represents the value. Right now it's at around 39% you know, scale. And obviously as you get closer to the keyframe, it's near 100%. And obviously at the beginning, it's near 0%. Now say if these were linear, it'll be just a straight line, just like this. you know. But with curves, it's a lot more curvier. Now these points represent the keyframe. So if you toggle back off the, the graph editor, you'll notice that those points in time are just the keyframes. And when you click on a keyframe, you'll notice that you have a handle when it's a Bezier keyframe. And essentially you can move this handle to really create some really cool effects. And that's really where the graph editor shines. For example, you can take this handle and move it down and you can create a nice ease out animation. If we play this back here, you'll notice that it eases out and snaps into the end. You can do the opposite. You can take this handle and move it up and then take the beginning handle and move this up. That way you have a nice ease in animation here. Now you just heard me talk about ease in and ease out and there really is a difference and to really break this down, I created another composition here to show you. The real difference between ease in and ease out is ease in kind of eases into the end. So you can kind of think of this, it slows down at the end and the beginning is fast and ease out is it starts slow but ends quick. It kind of snaps into place at the very end of the animation. Now you can also do both within the same animation and that's essentially the S curve that you can create inside After Effects. Now inside the graph editor do do this, what you'll do is just take the handle, extend it so far and then on the other handle, extend it to kind of create an S shape and that's essentially an ease out and ease in animation. Now, one other cool thing that you can do in the graph editor is you can do what's called an overshoot. So essentially it kind of, as it comes into the end, it kind of goes over and kind of goes to the end. So I'll show you how that works. So for example here, if you want to overshoot the scale value, what you can do is grab this handle and you can go up. You'll notice that when we go up and play this back, it goes up and then it goes back down again. So that's something very unique to the graph editor that you can't really do unless you create multiple keyframes. So by adjusting these handles, you can really bend the path of the animation. All right, so that's basically the graph editor and how it works. Now let's look over a few of the other settings that you might wanna keep in mind while you're adjusting different animations using the graph editor. 
So the other thing to really keep in mind is that there's two primary graphs that you want to focus on. Right now we're in the edit value graph, but you can also edit the speed graph. And when you select this and click on the value, you'll notice that it changes quite a bit. What's now being displayed is the speed over time. So you can see when you hover over this red line, you can see it's traveling at 284% per second. And obviously at the beginning it's a lot slower and at the end it's actually negative because it's going backwards in time since we did a overshoot effect here. Now the key thing to keep in mind here is that both the value and the speed graph work in tandem so when you edit one it edits the other as well. You can really use either one depending on the type of animation you're using. Now a few of the other options here I'm going to go back into the value graph editor when you select these keyframes here, you'll notice that there's a box here. You can actually untoggle this by clicking this button. You can turn off snapping here. You can also do auto zoom graph height. You can also have the option to fit selection to view, which is nice just to view what is selected here. And then to the far right, you have other keyframe options. So when you notice when you right click on a keyframe, you have keyframe assistance. It's displaying these options basically down here in the bottom right. So you'll notice you have easy ease, easy out, and you can convert to Bezier or linear keyframes as well, and other keyframe options. So that's essentially these bottom buttons in a nutshell. So that's the graph editor explained, guys. I hope you learned something new today in this tutorial, and hopefully you've learned how to kind of create boring linear keyframes and kind of convert them to have some extra oomph to the animation. Now, if you're new to After Effects and are looking for more resources, I did create a basics After Effects tutorial going over all the basics you need to know to get started in the software. If you're interested, I'll link that video right up there. Feel free to go watch that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.